So there's a lot of talk about the engine that the X-Trail is going to get, which is a 1.5 liter petrol engine that is a three cylinder. Now this might pop up a whole bunch of question marks in your mind and because of the way it sounds, but let me tell you that what you have here is some cutting edge technology. So in this video, I'm going to explain what makes this engine tick, what makes it so special and why it gets the recognition as the world's first production VC turbo. What does VC stand for? Well, that's variable compression. Let's get down into the details now. So coming down to the engine and what makes it tick, literally. Like I said, it is the world's first variable compression turbo engine in production and it's coming here on the fourth generation Nissan X-Trail and it comes with a series of components that make it an outstanding bit of machinery and technology. So to start with, you've got the cylinder head integrated with an exhaust manifold. That is uh, something special about the engine. It's got a really wide range turbocharger. So when you've driven turbos in the past, you'd have always felt a, a hint of turbo lag. In some vehicles, it's a little bit more pronounced. In some, not so much. But here with a wide range, you can barely feel uh, that turbo kick in. But at the same time, it ensures that you get that peppy drive feel, especially in that initial startup phase where it powers up seamlessly and surges forward. Uh, it gets a dual uh, BVT. So, uh, you know, we're talking about a variable valve uh, timer. It's a dual val variable valve timer that's uh, on the engine over there. The cylinder block has got a mirror bore coating. Now, this is straight off the Nissan GTR. That engine boasts of the same technology and you're going to get it underneath the hood uh, of your uh, Nissan X-Trail as well. Uh, it gets a variable displacement oil pump and uh, you've also got, uh, uh, you know, two uh, sources of fuel. So it's got a direct fuel injection system plus a port fuel injection system. So both of these uh, work along with uh, the, the variable compression actuator. So you've got this actuator device which actually changes uh, the length of the stroke of the piston depending on what you require, whether you require performance or whether you require efficiency. So depending on that, it actually changes uh, uh, the stroke uh, height. Uh, so to speak. I'm trying to be very layman about this because this is some serious tech and understanding it would really take an engineering degree. So I'm trying to keep it simple and make you understand that, uh, you know, when you've got an engine block, you've got your cylinders in there, they go, uh, you know, they move in a particular sequence and that's what uh, powers your vehicle. Now, till this engine came along, that has always been a fixed uh, sort of movement. But now, thanks to this actuator, they're able to change uh, that stroke. And that makes all the difference. And that's why a 1.5 liter engine, three cylinder, can do what it does. We're talking about 163 PS of power, 300 Newton meters of torque. It powers up seamlessly. It does a fantastic job in powering this large SUV up to three digit speeds. Uh, if my numbers are correct, it does it in about 10 seconds, which is, Pretty phenomenal when you consider uh, all this tech and uh, what it's moving. So uh, that's you know uh, the major thing about this engine and what really makes it tick. Uh, it is something that is special. It is something that you're going to get to understand. Uh, the more you drive it, the more you'll understand that this is really uh, a seamless piece of machinery. Something that's fantastic. It's cutting edge and it delivers the goods. So you're getting performance and mileage all in a brilliant package that is also very silent and smooth to run. So that's the down low on the engine. Add to that, uh, the X-Trail also gets an advanced lithium ion battery system. It's a 12 volt mild hybrid system, which also provides assistance uh, to the entire uh, drive. And that also makes a difference in the way it feels when it powers up, when it surges forward. Uh, all of that is done uh, in a great manner. It is paired with a CVT. Now I know that CVTs have gotten a bad rap for being too elastic and having, uh, you know, being a little lethargic when it comes to performance. But I would tell you to drive the Nissan X-Trail so that you experience a CVT in the way that the technology should be. Because over here, you feel a very slight hint of lag. It's not that much at all. Uh, you can use the paddle shifter to actually hold it in gear. Uh, and uh, using the paddle shifter, it moves all the way up from uh, one to eight. 
and uh, this gives you that added level of control on when you want uh, that power, should you be dealing with an incline and all of that. So, you know, they've really thought it out. It's a well thought out uh, uh, bit of tech on board to ensure that you get uh, the best drive feel uh, out of your X-Trail as well as the best performance. Well, there you have it. The details on the VC Turbo that you get underneath the bonnet of the new Nissan X-Trail. It is cutting edge technology, it is something futuristic, and it is something that Nissan has brought in into the country to show their commitment, not to just bringing out new products, but bringing out their best technology for the Indian market as well. So I hope that puts some of your doubts to rest about India's commitment to the market. And uh, the engine is just one such statement. But if you do have any questions about the way it functions, the way it works, or something that I might have left out in my explanation of how the VC Turbo functions, feel free to write in. It is my promise and the Motorscribe's promise that I will get back to you.